Are you looking for a model home in Dr. Phillips? This one's available. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Joe with Atlanta Home Finders, and today I'm in Dr. Phillips. So this model is for sale. So if you wanna buy this home with or without the furniture, that can be done as well. So this house is just over 4,500 square feet, six bedrooms, four and a half baths, three car garage, and it has the primary down. This is a gorgeous floor plan, upgraded galore. So if you wanna buy this home or wanna see these homes, give me a call, 407-484-8458, or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video and comment below. Again, this is a very beautiful home that is for sale. You could buy it with the furniture or without. So with that said, this is gonna be at a higher price point because you're located in Dr. Phillips. So everything is around you. So this is prime location. This is a prime home. This is a model home. The other home besides it is for sale as well. These might be sold by the time I produce it. I am filming it today on a Thursday. I'm gonna produce this video on a Sunday. So it might be available or might not be available, but there are other homes, very few homes, limited lots that are gonna be available. Actually, there's spec homes that are available here. So again, if you wanna see these homes, give me a call. Hey guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Enjoy the tour. So this is your exterior elevation hidden behind this humongous palm tree okay so three car wide garage three car driveway covered front porch two large windows eight foot glass door with your iron inside beautiful foyer you can see you walk right into this grand two-story foyer with your staircase on the left. Let's back up a little, but that is super grand. A lot of people have been looking for this particular floor plan where it opens up like that. In the front of the home, you have your office flex space den. This is upgraded galore. This model is upgraded galore. Building these homes don't cost cheap. So this is gonna definitely cost a little bit to build this house. As you'll see in the price, they have it starting in the mid 900s or low 900s right now for some of these. Um, this actually is very loaded, this flex base den. Let's talk about it. You have the tray ceiling in a two-story home. That's That doesn't happen too often. You have the tray ceiling with the crown moldings. You have the trim work on the wall. You have the double French glass doors. Engineered. For an office, you have a closet, which is no light, but you have a closet in your office space. Check that out. Light fixture, two large windows in the front. All this natural light right away. Let's go back into this main space. And again, wow, this is truly a gorgeous foyer. Before we enter, this is a big maze. So this is gonna be quite a long tour. This is your powder bath. You see you have your large format, 20 by 20 tall floors in your straight pattern. St storage closet right there. And then we enter into our main space. Look at this open concept. All right, so this is a very big home. 4,500 plus square feet. The space is utilized very well in this home. Every little nook, it's like a maze. When we go upstairs, even down here, there's just so much to talk about. So let's talk about this family room. A lot of things going on here. You have the tray ceiling, crown moldings, 
you have the tile wall feature wall back there but the main thing again when i go into homes you can't imagine the space when they're empty but look you have two full-size sofas the chairs oversized table and this has a ton of walking room it feels even larger when you have this furniture defining this space understated when it is not furnished double walls of windows because you have a triple sliding glass on this family room and then in this kitchen area so this is going to be kind of a zigzag what we're going to do here but let's go check out this gourmet kitchen what do you think about this island guys all right we have five chairs going around this quarter circle island semi-circle and it's just fantastic again open concept but it has separation with the family room and that load bearing wall across there really cool high-end quartz with your mocha cabinets on the center island this is really cool we have some usable cabinets here and drawers so you know that that's a very deep island all right so talking about a lot of things here let's go around this is a gourmet upgraded kitchen so everything is a la carte you're going to be buying everything so this has the microwave and oven on the wall you have your 42 inch cabinets this is a gas community guys brushed handles five burner cooktop glass subway tiles chimney style industrial range hood and before we leave this area let's check out how this pantry works amazing sized pantry for this home fits right in Okay, over here you have your refrigerator, 24 inch panel and cabinet on top of that. So really, formal dining or kitchen nook. Eight seated table. You have your three transom windows back there. Then you have your outdoor space triple slider over here triple slider over there all around so i'm going to be zigzagging all around this space because there's just so much to see so let's go to this really unique space here that little cubby look at this a double workspace for your kids if you're in the kitchen cooking they could do all their homework here or this could be your space for your cookbooks or just an extra space it's a, I would love to have this you have your high-end cabinets quartz countertops drawers everything right there okay and while we're here storage anybody all right there's a huge storage underneath the staircase all right, so this is your drop zone with your baskets and shelves. Just three car oversized garage. And you know, every time I explain things in the videos, look at that little indent right there. So this is very, if you got a long truck, no problem. Even if you had a little boat, you could put it here. Ah, check this out. Oh, I don't think so. Yes, a little storage underneath here. That's really cool. All these little added bonus. Again, this house is fully upgraded. Everything is going to be a design option. Already went in through here. All right. 
So we're gonna zigzag again. Right down the middle here, you have this wall dividing this to these spaces, but one thing that you're gonna notice, you have double, triple sliders. Double, triple sliders. Let's go out here into your outdoor living space. This is expansive. This is a huge covered lanai. This has the upgraded summer kitchen. Has your industrial grill, your wet sink. What is this? What is this? Oh, uh, that's just an opening. And then you have your refrigerator and your granite counters out here. Another thing that you're gonna notice, you have travertine. So this travertine expands out into this open patio here. So you're looking at this floor plan, 4,500 square feet. The house next to us is 4,200 square feet. And this yard is bigger. I guess that's a deeper square footage, but you can see you could put a much bigger pool on this yard than that one because you have an additional, let's say 10 feet. No, about five feet on the side. But look at this. What do you guys think about this? Let me take a video from here. So this is a fire pit, glass fire pit. You have your tile surrounds and then your travertine upper. All right, so I'm kind of giving it away here. You can see it has the second floor balcony. That's, that's a huge, huge plus. Would you screen your second floor balcony here in Florida? I don't know. I think second floor balcony, I may not. I may not do it. All right, so this is, in, is a primary down. Okay, this is the primary. Well done, okay. So to your design, really take any room into the next level. You've got three large windows in the back, two windows oversized. This is a perfect sized primary. It's not monstrous, definitely not monstrous, but it's perfect, really. You have enough for a seating area on that side, tray ceiling, trim work on the walls. Just perfect, really. Let me go in around the other side. I'm saying that because my last clients that are looking at this that we showed today, they said this primary is a little bit on the small side, but that's a huge king size bed, good size tables. This is enough room. This is more room than you'll ever need unless you need a whole sitting, other sitting area. Primary bath, very elegant. These colors are very natural, clean, crisp colors. You have the wood look tile floors in here, 70-30 pattern, quartz countertop. This has the oval undermount sink shaker style, white cabinets with the brushed. Another vanity over here, linen closet. And then you have the powder uh, water closet right there. Same thing on this side. So what we have here, is a super shower. You have large format tiles, straight pattern. You have the six inch Listello strip. You have the honeycomb floors. You have the rain head shower, shampoo niche. These are all the added upgrades that you would choose to do when you build a house. So this model is not for sale, but if it was, it would come at a cost because this is a model. Primary closet, great size closet, comes all the way around. I do little California -ish style closets in here. I know a lot of people at this price point don't like wire shelvings. I wouldn't want wire shelvings for a million dollar home. This is definitely a million dollar home at the end of the day. Let's check out the second floor. What do you think about that first floor guys? I love this treaded stairs. 
how the stair treads sideways like that. It gives you that architectural design feature. You have the wood look stairs. This is the engineered hardwood stairs with the white risers. You have this feature wall, really simple trim that goes across, but brings so much dimension to this wall and this space. Makes that plain wall look really fancy. Then you have your hardwood hand, uh, handrails and your iron spindles. And then right away. Man, this is beautiful. All right, so looking behind us again, beautiful two-story foyer. Let's go to here. This is a maze, a lot of bedrooms up here and a lot of baths. This is your first bedroom. Full-size bed, ton of elbow room in there. Linen closet. Oops. Couldn't get that door open. Extra wide linen closet. That's the HVAC, so I'm not going to open that door. This is the room in the front. This is an ensuite. Very cool. Those flowers like pop out at you. Two large windows in the front. Even the closet has a window. So this is actually not an ensuite. This is a Jack and Jill. I didn't realize that on the other side. Now this is the Jack and Jill, yeah. So here's your vanity with your quartz countertop, your mocha cabinets, large format 12 by 24 in a straight pattern. Let's come through here. Center toilet, center shower. I've seen this before. My buyer did that list all before. It looks really great in person. Same similar tile floors on the wall, straight pattern. And then over here. You come through. How did I miss this? Ah, because I thought it was the closet. There you go. That's what you get for not going into closets. And then the closet for this room is right here. So we can go through this room, and there's a this is a Jack and Chill, but let's go through the other way and come back around here. So right right here, <laughs> which way should I go? I'm gonna go around roundabout let's go roundabout and then make our way around so this is the media room that we're talking about really cool thing about this room is that you'll see in a second a lot of cool things and this has your wet bar all this featured wet sink with your double Beverage refrigerators, wine refrigerators, microwave, just your little entertainment center right there. Wow, super awesome. All right, so let's give it up. This is what makes this pretty awesome. So, this media room you could use as your home theater, has your slider to your balcony. So, that's pretty awesome. Two huge transom windows. And then you could go into the balcony. I am going to go out to the balcony and kind of give it up to this awesome space right now. All right, let's take a look. So that's pretty much the lots that you're gonna see. There's not many lots remaining. And again, they're gonna be literally So you have, again, two windows and then the, surrounded by these double sliders. 
just gave that one up. So let's go into that room. Second floor balcony. How many of you guys use your second floor balcony? How many guys actually use your second floor balcony that have a second floor balcony? Okay. All right, so HVAC. Love how the interior design. I really like natural cream colors, brown tones. I, I love this type of design. I mean, I tried grays and I love grays and modern, but really like the soft, soft design. But there's so much going on with this room. Let's start by giving it up to that ton of natural light with this large slider. We have the window over there. Let's come back here. So much going on over here. Seating area, another window. I'm gonna skip that door for now, but check this out. Your own ensuite, high end water closet on the left. So this is probably gonna be throughout the rest of the bathrooms with the quartz, mocha, brushed. This large format tile. This is one of the builders that kind of go through the same things in the bathrooms when you choose. Same thing with the Listello, straight pattern, large format tiles. Clay shelves, what do you guys think about this clay soap dishes? Not a huge fan of that. I'd rather do a glass or shampoo niche that has the seat, the shower bench, and then this is your closet. It's a great size closet actually. Some lights. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be a long tour, guys. Almost there, but man, look at this. This area. Is, there's just so much to do here. I mean, this is 45, 4,500 square feet, guys. All right, open up every door, linen closet, whole other corridor over here. Two more bedrooms. And the bath. This is your laundry room. Hmm. Is there a laundry room downstairs? Let's double check that. So this is fully upgraded. You can see tile floors. Same thing as, as the bath with the quartz and the mocha cabinets. This has a wet sink in the upper cabinets. So this is, and it's really big. You have your folding table back there. Full size bedroom. I can take some design tips from these homes. Mix and match. The gold leaf paintings and frames. Walk-in closet. All right, almost there guys, almost there. Shared bath for this area. Drawers galore, I'm telling you. You got a bath and look in your bath. Are there drawers? Drawers come in very handy. All right, so toilet and the shower. This is unique. It's kind of like a lower shower. So if you're tall, that's gonna hit you. That's a weird one. Anyway, same tiles throughout. You've got that clay soap dish. And then second floor, you have the shower pan. Fire rod. Hey guys, what do you think about this gorgeous model home? As you know, this is in Dr. Phillips. Very limited new construction here, and this is the model home. This home might be sold by the time I produce this video, or it might be available. So if you wanna see it, give me a call, 407-484-8458, or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. So this house, as you see it, everything in it can be purchased, including the furniture. But you could also furnish it, purchase it 
without the furniture. So that furniture will come at an additional cost if you wanted it. So everything as you see, design elements, the furniture can be purchased as you see it. If not, you can take out the furniture and all the design elements that come in the home are included, like the feature, feature wall, everything will be included. So if you wanna see this again, give me a call. This house is 4,500 square feet, six bedrooms, four and a half baths, three car garage, and as you see, it is the model home in this neighborhood and it is for sale. Again, if you wanna see it, give me a call. There are other opportunities to purchase homes here, limited opportunities, very few homes left, and then this will be a closeout community. So that's another good thing. You won't be living through too much new construction, whereas if it was a new community, you're gonna be living through all of that. So if you guys wanna see these homes, give me a call, 407-484-8458. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on the tour. Have an amazing day. I'll see you around neighborhood.